Hey, what up guys? It's Dan. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how I put together this custom wedge for my wife, but I do know it's been a really, really long time since I've done anything for YouTube. And I had been looking for a project to get back into YouTube. And so just by chance, my wife came up to me last week and told me that she was interested in playing golf and asked if I would help her build a set. To which, of course, I told her I would because I've been hoping for a very long time that she would um, at some point get interested in playing golf. And now that she is, I want to make sure I get these clubs put together in a way that encourages her to stick with it. So the first thing I had to do in order to put the clubs together is I needed to come up with some images. So with the help of AI, I was able to put together a fairy image that I felt like she would like and was kind of in line with her own personal style. And then for the to, to fill in the rest of the template, what I did is I created a image of pretty much kind of vines and plants, just a general like nature like image. When we move over to the engraving program. Once I got it out of Photoshop, I was able to do a few more final adjustments. And then that takes us straight into actually being able to set up the engraver. So once the engraver is like completely uh, set up, well, that's when the fun part starts. With everything running, all we have to do now is sit back and let the engraver do its thing. But while it's doing its engraving, I figured I'd take a second to tell you a little bit about it, just in case if you were in the market for an engraver yourself. I'm currently running the 30 watt Omtech fiber laser. It's very important that you get a fiber laser if you want to engrave on metal, but if you're looking to do any custom work, I cannot stress how awesome the engraver is. With the engraving all done, we move on to our final step of polishing and light deburring to get the image that we just engraved all cleaned up and ready for heat treatment. My wife wanted me to do an oil canned, torched oil can finish on this particular wedge, so that's what we're going to do. The first step to doing the oil can finish, or if you're going to do any type of torched finish, I highly recommend using a heat gun to bring the metal temperature up to a couple hundred degrees before applying the torch. If you start directly with a torch, it has a tendency to create moisture and that moisture can ruin the oil can finish that you're shooting for. The process of how you apply the heat to the head will vary depending on the desired color and finish that you're trying to achieve. I'll probably do a video at some point explaining more about how torch finishes work on golf clubs. But in this video, my goal was to achieve a dark brown finish with hints of purple and gold. As I use the torch to heat up the metal, a thin layer of oxidation forms, and that's what's going to give the wedge its color. As the temperature increases, you're going to see the color change from a light gold to a dark gold, then purple, dark blue, light blue, and then a very light, almost steel blue. Another important thing to note about this finish is it can only be applied to carbon steel and should not be attempted on stainless steel as it will not work in the same way. With the torch work done, all we have to do is drop it in the oil and let it cool. So as you can see from the lighting change, it's a new day and the wedge is now completely cooled to the touch. I've taken it out of the oil and cleaned it up. And now what I'm doing is prepping up the shaft for installation. So. I'm tipping it down, getting the end of the shaft cut off so that we can get the correct flex. And then now I'm just going to prep it up by sanding the end of the shaft. And then we can go straight into installation. And here we are. For the last step, we just got to mix up the epoxy, put the ferrule on, which we've already done, as you see in the video, and put everything together. And that's pretty much it. The, the wedge is just about done. And this is the final results. I, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you liked how the wedges turned out. My wife really loved it. Um, I may do a couple more with slightly different designs for her. But if there's a specific wedge design that you would like to see, please drop it in the comments below and maybe I'll put it together for you guys. And as always, I thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.